Hey everyone, here on this channel. What you saw right now were the first two flight tests of the Buffalo rocket. The rocket has a dry mass of approximately 730 gram, a diameter of 76 millimeters and is 710 millimeters long. The development of this rocket started in April 2020 and all parts were basically made from the ground up. During this journey, four flight computers had been designed, with the fourth being the first fully functional, RefD set in a rocket in both flights. In addition to the flight computer, a large computer was designed. The launcher RefA was also used in both flights. The rocket is almost completely made up of 3D printed parts, which were all constructed over multiple iterations. Next up was the software, which was completely rewritten, with the focus on clarity and simplicity of the code. Last thing was to build the launchpad and to design all the related parts. Only the GUI was adapted from the last rocket. Propulsion-wise, Klima D3P motors were chosen. In a cluster 4, they would have been strong enough to lift the rocket up to 120 meters. That being said, it's time to analyze what led to this massive loose in Apache. In the first one, the error was both obvious and foolish. As you might have noticed, the rocket ignited way too early, which led to a very short burn time. The reason for that being a number I misplaced in a configuration file. This file had been implemented as it facilitates the adjustments of parameters like this one. If we have a look on the flight data, something surprising can be seen. After ignition, the altitude magically begins to rise and then, when the rocket really lifts off, the altitude adjusts back to a proper value. The explanation for that being the rise in pressure as the rocket ignited. You may wonder why the parachute didn't deploy in the air, but on the ground. The rocket always assumes a nominal flight and deploys the parachute after a fixed amount of time. In the second flight, the rocket looked stable, but for some kind of reason, it was so in a tilted angle. This might have been the result of a relatively big error on the adjustment of the thrust vector control mount. After 3 seconds of burn time, the rocket began to overturn. After flight, the vehicle investigation showed that the gear jumped out of the related track. The parachute had the exact same behavior as in the previous flight. And a board mode will be definitely added. Both flights would have featured an onboard cam. Sadly, in both the recording didn't work out. So there are many things that need to be done in preparation for the third flight. That is all from me. Thanks for watching, have a great day and I will see you next time.